Hello everybody, day three at AVN 2023. I am here at the Joy Jot City booth with Browsers and I am here with the gorgeous redhead, Jessica Ryan. Thank you. How are you doing? I am amazing and I am mind blown that it's only day three. I know, right? <laughs> I have not gone out a single night. <laughs> yeah, I um, tomorrow's the awards though. Are you going to the awards? I am, I am, and tonight is the first night that I'm going out. Okay. And yeah. So. Well, it sounds like it sounds like you're pacing yourself. It's probably a good idea because uh, you don't want to like blow your load on the first night. Yeah. So to speak. Right. The the recovery period is just not the same. No. No. Absolutely <laughs> not. I remember when I was when I was a youngin coming to these things, and I would uh, you know be able to like drink all day and then like get up at 8 a.m. the next morning and. You know, go back to the show floor, and now I'm just like... Do you feel like you did it well, though? I feel like it might just be young and dumb. Yeah. Because I'll see some of the people, and I'm like, I don't think you're really doing it that well. No, no. I Well, so most people know I was like a raging alcoholic. I'm sober now, and uh, I did it terribly. Thank you. Um, I actually, there was a time that uh, my mom, when I used to come to these things with my mother, when she was, you know, uh, before she retired, um, she lost me and found me we were at the Mirage and she found, you know how there's like a little like river running through the Mirage I don't but this there's sounds like, like fun there's like a she found me like in the river like trying to like wade through the, uh, like those those water features in Las Vegas casinos are not for swimming people what do they call them it's like when you become victim to those like those thoughts like and you're like what is it called um, not, it's not, my brain's saying inclusive. It starts with an I. It's like intrusive thoughts. Mm. When you fall to your intrusive thoughts, you do a thing. Like, I, have you ever seen like somebody actually pushes someone or steps on someone's shoe? You you've fallen victim to your intrusive thoughts. Oh, I don't. You know, honestly, I was in a blackout during this period, so, so you I don't had know. No, you had no inhibitions to stop your intrusive. I don't know thoughts. what my thoughts were. <laughs> I don't remember any of it. I just remember my mother the next morning being like, everybody wants, to, everybody wants to get into the lazy river, though. You just didn't have that inhibition control. Yes, so, yes. So, like, it, you didn't do something that other people wouldn't have wanted. Right, okay. Give yourself that credit. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, I feel like I didn't make a terrible decision. Um, all right, so, Jessica, you uh, have a couple of, you have a new project. I do. That you have just wrapped up, right? Yes, I finally have launched my very own website. It's, it is a, it, 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 I, it's a project. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say about it. Um, so cultofjust.com. Um, I have been working hard at getting this put together. It is still a work in progress. There's so much that I'm going to be doing. Um, I just, I, I love my fans and I've been frustrated on so many aspects of trying to have like a quality interaction with everyone. Mm-hmm. So it's better, um, but I'm still working on things and I'm hoping to bring in some really cool stuff soon and having them interact in a different way of um, even helping me direct some stuff and like kind of doing polls and whatnot. Oh, okay, so like really kind of reaching out to your fan community for help in creating content. Yeah. And like what they're looking to like see. Like beyond the basic fan platform mm-hmm. of like sexting and like sending pictures and getting regular updates, which is cool. I mm-hmm. love that. Yeah. But I want to like, I want to make some really cool shit. I have some super nerdy fans. Yeah. I actually didn't tell you about I have my book club. <laughs> You have a book club? I have a fucking book club. I can't believe that has escaped me. Um, so I, the Cult of Jess has kind of come from, I have a science fiction book club because I love, I love nerds. Um, and I, science fiction to me, which uh, we were talking about joy, is just a personal fetish. Yeah, yeah. So it's, 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 a, it's a group. <laughs> so, okay, so hold on. So you have a book club with your fans. You yeah. guys pick a book, you read the book, and then what, you come together and you talk about the book? Yeah, so because, like, like you know, the pandemic was amazing in the sense of making everything go digital. Right. Um, so I found the land of Discord. And um, I started up a Discord channel to bring people together, and like it, we've done various ways of bring, like doing our talks. We'll do um, either like through a watch party mm-hmm. where we'll watch the movie, compare the things, or mm-hmm. we'll just do it directly on like a voice channel on Discord. Right, and it's fun. Um, I'm ADHD, and it's so hard to finish books, and it's like a support group. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, like gives you motivation. Oh my god, it's I love like that. it's it's my reading support group. 
I love that. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Um, so you also have some great scenes that you wanted to talk about, right? Yes, yes. So um, I have a, one that I am so happy it finally came out. It was a super hot scene, and it was. It's. I only wear white in porn because I get it dirty very easily. Mm-hmm. And um, I got to wear a white pa- pair of white pants and a white shirt in this sh- um, boy-girl scene for Hustler. I wish I remembered the title right now, but hello. Um, but so where I like had to, I wiped my hands with like car grease on them and then I was hitting on the mechanic or my neighbor. It's been a while since I've shot it. And then, of course, there, therefore, there was sex. Right, of course, but because once you wiped your hands on your pants, you had to take them off. I had to take them I mean, you them can't off. go around with dirty pants. That's no, ridiculous. No. Just take the pants off, and then you have no pants. Especially that makes way more sense. Hand prints on your ass, what will the neighbors think? Oh, my God. I mean, it would be much better to just not have the just pants. Fuck. Just fuck. Yeah, just, just fuck. be bottomless. Yes. Oh, and then, of course, have sex. Because that's <laughs> how we resolve all issues in the adult industry. And then there was sex. And then there was sex. <laughs> Speaking of sex, um, let's just quickly kind of laugh about that. Uh, browsers actually no sorry not browsers scene it was a twisty scene yes um that we the christmas scene oh my gosh that yeah. we shot with you slim thick vic and gianna dior now was that your first ad scene or that was my first ad scene in a while okay. and it was actually my first i'd done ad scenes before but not like this one we this got out there very before the sunset. specific you yeah. did an amazing job the sun was not set and we got out which these scenes are very difficult to shoot yeah yeah they're very specific they're very specific so for those of you who don't know you're like what the fuck's an ad scene <laughs> an ad scene is basically a scene that is very heavenly reliant on very specific what we call ad moments mm-hmm. if you ever like go on Pornhub or any of those sites and you see those like little square speeded up gifts um, with a lot of <gasps> surprised shocked faces and pants being ripped or someone getting stuck in a fridge or whatever like the nonsense you know that we have have um, in porn, and uh, those are called ad scenes because those those very specific moments, the oh, the oh, oh my god, my pants, like those are moments that we have to absolutely capture, and we have to get that over the top expression because it really catches a viewer's eye, and they're like, oh my gosh, what is this scene? And then they click on it, and then they go to whatever site that is promoting, and that drives a lot of traffic. So. I almost, I almost feel like we could shoot. be much more innuendoed with it. I'm just thinking about it because, like, clickbait, it's like it's those things that, like, attract you to it. And yeah, it's essentially masturbate. clickbait, yeah. Like, masturbate, clickbait. Like, yeah. there's there's some in, in, any window in there somewhere that I will figure out eventually because I love <laughs> wordplay. Yeah. It's got to be. But it was it was a fun scene to shoot. It was so much fun. And I loved how the pictures of you guys really looked like we kept laughing because it was, you know, these, these three hot women, like, dressed kind of demurely in mm-hmm. front of, like, this Christmas you know, scene with the tree and it felt very much like home and country, like a magazine cover or something like that. The decor was amazing. Yeah, that was Amber. That was all Amber. She did a great job. I'm like, can I hire her for Christmas decorations? Uh, You know, it's so funny. The location owner said the same thing. Really? Yeah. He was like, she did so good. She's great. Oh my God. Yeah. No, that was, that was amazing. And that was a stupid fun day. Yeah, really was. (laughs) Um, So Jessica, thank you so much for joining us. Of course. It's been such a pleasure to chat with you, albeit briefly. Yes. Um, can you tell everybody where they can find you on social media? Oh, my goodness. It might be easier to go cultofjust.com and find all the things because all the social media platforms have been just left and right deleting random things, so they don't yeah. match. It used to be all love Jessica Ryan. You can find me on Twitter, love Jessica Ryan. Still got that one. Instagram is Rose of Apathy. It's new. Please follow. It'll encourage me to post more shit. Um, and there are other things. Cultofjust.com. <laughs> yeah. I think it's it's always good to like funnel people to one uh, specific place. And it's then, too difficult. Because you can update your handles as your shit gets deleted, uh, which happens a lot, unfortunately. This is the life of adult. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I still have uh, at Holly Randall on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, hopefully that, that sticks. Knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. But, of course, where you really should be going is to joy.city and signing up for email updates because we're going to be launching this platform very soon. We've got some really exciting announcements coming up, and you definitely want to be in the know because the future is the metaverse, Mm. and the future is now. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.